Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector. We are in the Oligarch store. This great man next to me is Mr. Kevin. Hey, what's up? He's the TikTok king. Did you know that? <laughs> okay, here we go. It's true, it's here true. We go. If you haven't watched Kevin on TikTok, you're missing out. Not only is it just the, the Kevin that we know, that energetic, but it's also, you know, perfume facts and niche perfumery. Yeah. yeah. Firstly, thank you to everyone for coming through. Uh, everyone, I hope you guys have your sets ready to go in front of you. We've got nine fragrances that we've lined up today. Three incredible niche houses that we're going to cover together. Exciting stuff. We're going to push the next camera. Who do we have here? It's the special guest tonight. Tell us who you are. What are you doing here in the oligarch store with us? That's a very good question. I'm really not very certain, Marcelo. <laughs> <laughs> we have some with all these perfumes and um, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta thank everybody for not outbidding me. <laughs> and so I'm glad to be here. <laughs> these two men have paid for, they belong to you. Those thrones are yours. Yeah. At the end of the night, you can take them with you. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I need them. <laughs> <laughs> The mics are open, so if you want to share, and the truth is we want you to share, okay? Yeah. So this is not a, a masterclass. Yeah. We didn't want to make a session where you just sit there and we're just gonna do a spiel for an hour. We actually wanted, if some of you guys did make it to the store for that fragrance meetup, where we just hung out with each other, went through fragrances together, we smelled, we asked each other for advice, stuff like that. We wanted that live right here. Um, there's half of you are actually from other countries, so which is really cool. You don't need to feel like you're an expert or that you need to tell us technical knowledge about anything. It's really how's it sitting for you, so you guys can spray on cards. I know this gentleman actually pushes for you, everyone to spray on, on skin. skin. Yeah. I'm gonna take my jacket off. I just started formal, <laughs> but I, I won't do a dance. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I won't do a dance. I'll just take the jacket off, roll up the sleeves, um, because I do like spraying on skin, and there are some here that. I, I feel activate better on skin than on a card do. Yeah, on a yeah, card does. Yeah, I know you actually asked some of the the people that bought the sets to try beforehand Correct. on skin. Yeah. I didn't tell you, but I purposely did the opposite. Oh. So yeah. half the people that got their sets, I told them don't try it because I want to see some people have live reactions on the spot. Right. Okay. So you won't get the dry down, but I want to hear what their initial thoughts are. Well, that's what these two men are here because. The, the, uh, both Michael and Edward haven't smelt the fragrances before, so we're gonna get these live reactions. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All nice. right. Can, gonna, can I just say on. that you're all beautiful? <laughs> and it is so nice to see, honestly, th to see you all here. Uh, it's just... Uh, Mercedes! Yeah, and Vera. <laughs> Sandra. Oh. Honestly, you guys, Thank you. Cool. It's, it's really, this is, yeah, this is super cool. This All is right, really cool. let's start. Why don't we look at the fragrance wheel? Do you mind? Yeah. So the fragrance wheel breaks down the many elements and styles of fragrances that we have. So you've got like aromatic, citrus, you've got leathers, you've got ouds, you've got ambers. All across that, this is the wide spectrum of scents that we're going to cover. There we go. Many of them lean in the top half of the... <laughs> yeah. Predominantly, as you can see, a lot of them are in the amber, it used to be called, I, I kept it as Oriental, so we, we left it, the, the title Oriental. I'm a bit, I'm a bit old school. Listen, Oriental, I don't know why people don't want to use it these days. I speak for all Asian population. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say, keep calling it Oriental. <laughs> Generally, when we do these things, we like to start off a bit on the lighter side and yes. work our way down. Yep. Because if we give you the punchiest things, you'll probably blow your nose tonight and you won't be able to smell anything else. Great. So, why don't we start off, I know this is one of your favorites. I'm already gonna spray on skin. Okay, guys, the first one that I wanna start off with is called Bergamotto di Calabria. So this is by Paris Monte Carlo. What I'm gonna recommend to everybody, put this on skin, because what you're gonna get now is that very green citrus note, which is the, the actual, the skin of the bergamot. Mm. So, on initial spray, this fragrance, you would categorize it in the area of fresh aromatic citrus. Absolutely. It is by Paris Monte Carlo, and I would say that they are using some of the best Italian citruses in this. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts? I love this one. Yeah. Uh, I love bergamot, and um, yeah, this is just fresh and just beautiful. Um, you might have your first seal from me. Oh. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, yeah. That was easy. That was quick. Like, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It is an absolutely lovely bergamot. I will say that. 
definitely not my thing, but if it yeah. was... So you're saying not so much for you because it's a bit too green or too citrus? I don't tend to go for things which are pure, pure citrus. It's just yeah, okay. not. Perfect. Yeah. But if I did... Yeah, this will be it. I yeah. certainly want to give this a proper try. So I met with the perfumer, so Luca Maffei, in his atelier in Milan, and he talked about this fragrance. When you extract oils from the bergamot, you can do it through steam distillation. They put the, the fruit inside these massive vats with water, they clean them, and as they go through, it begins to peel the fruit. It goes into then a steam distillation, takes out the oil, takes the, the water out of it, yada, yada, yada. So he's saying that the way that they do this, they get their oils from Calabria, they hand peel. And, and when I said this, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. hand peel. Like, did I like, hear this right? They cut the fruit in half. And they hold it. And then with a sponge, a sea sponge called spugna, they soak up the oil. So press, soak, press. And I'm like, no. I, I, yeah. And I actually, not that I was calling bullshit BS on it. <laughs> but I'm like, uh, no, this day and age, everything's mechanized. And he says, no, 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 it is everything. So they do have that mechanized version of it. Yep. But what goes into this fragrance here is the spugna version of the bergamotto. Yep. And that's because you're now getting a very true, real-to-life yeah. bergamot yeah. scent yeah. on that opening. And you can't get it, according to the, the perfumer, Luca Maffei, you can't get it any other way. I, I the agree. yield is very low. It, smell, it smells like someone is just peeled. It smells yeah. like peeling it. Yeah. Totally. The oil absolutely. That comes out. totally. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why I'm saying by spraying this on skin, you get the full effect of mm. this fragrance. This fragrance mm. is probably the most divine summer fragrance. Yeah. It's light. It's great if you like layering. Bergamotto di Calabria is one of those that just goes with yeah. everything. Yeah. I love that in this uh, citrus, it isn't just plain citrus. Mm. You were getting the pedigree and some of the more greener elements around mm. it as well. And I find that a lot of people, when you go for citrus, if you're really into niche, you want something that has a bit of a journey in it. And this is one that it still keeps that citrus freshness, spring, summer, absolutely. But you're getting other layers come through this fragrance. Have a look at this. Yeah. So the other key part to the fragrance is the jasmine in the heart. And that jasmine, there's also a little bit of neroli, gives it that floral bouquet sort of... Absolutely. It, it, it makes you feel like you're walking through an actual bergamot. Absolutely. Orchard. Yeah. I love it. This, yeah. this is one of the... This is one of my... My favorites. For you guys that are into more citrus fresh ones, what do you think about it? For those of you that have just put it on skin, I'd love to hear what you think about this fragrance. Vera says, I don't smell the iris apparently. You're not going to. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. give you a heads up on yeah. that. <laughs> the, the owner of the brand, his name is Jan Luca Paris, and his mission is grab a signature note, in this case bergamot from Calabria, yeah. and now support it with other ingredients that keeps it true to or the actual scent would be. So if there's iris in there, you're not going to smell it. All you're going to smell yeah. is a supporting character to the bergamot. Yeah. It's, not like a, it's not like one of the other fragrances that we'll discover soon where there's all these different things happening. You know, you're smelling pineapple, you're it's smelling beautiful. this. Smell. Yeah. Here, it's bergamot. It's just a celebration of bergamot. Like Eddie, I'm not a huge fan of citruses. I find that there's a bit less variation in making a citrus fragrance. Yeah. But this is really... I think it's like the heart of a real bergamot. Absolutely. Scented yeah. fragrance. The pedigree, and I wasn't picking that up until you mentioned it, but it's actually, it's working to amp up the bergamot so it doesn't mm, come across all that yeah, separately. Yeah, it's yeah. giving it a sort of green edge to yeah. the... Correct. Yeah. And, and did you say there's neroli? neroli in there's a little bit of neroli and there's a little bit of jasmine. So as it begins to evolve, you begin to get more That's of funny. That. Yeah. I love neroli as well. Yeah. And I can get the smell of the neroli and the jasmine in there on my skin. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is really nice, yeah. When I wear this in the dry down, on my skin, I get actually all the peppery notes right. come off. A lot of peppers start to pop off this, and I find this is just that this has got that wow factor as a citrus scent. Absolutely. Let me say, for the price that you're paying, yeah, the, the, any of the Paris Monte Carlos, yeah, these are big hitting fragrances. The value for money is phenomenal. So absolutely. The next one I would love to go to is by Rainiers, which is Oud Rain. If you guys don't already have it, I would actually suggest getting a pen. And mm. if you're spraying on card, I would suggest writing it out because over the next 20, 30, 40 minutes, you want to pick up some of the other ones that we've covered and check out the dry down of it. Because we'll go over some of the other ones uh, once we cover them. We'll see some of the dry down together. Could, could we have a look at the notes on this? This is such a celebration. In that opening, oh, it, wow. You just yep. sold. You yep. sold on the opening. And I saw, Vera, that you wrote that 
You love oud rain, absolutely. So if you look at that Beautiful. opening, look at all those, and those fruits yeah. for me are just that love. tropical opening. So Renier perfumes is created by the artist uh, Renier Rodriguez Mendez. He's Cuban, and living uh, in the Czech Republic. Yeah, and this has got a lot of the characteristics of his home. Mm. Yeah, so you're getting all the tropical opening, saffron, mm. and all the spices. The really beautiful sharp woods that come through as well. Yeah. What are you getting from? I love this one. Yeah. So I don't, I don't own Oud Rain. I've been testing long. Uh, when, as soon as I got the samples, I was already going for it. I wore this yesterday. And these are no exaggeration. Sandra's in the room with me. I wore this yesterday. My son kept saying, you are popping. Whatever you're wearing, yeah. it smells great. And we were outside. We were eating kebabs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we were outside. It was cold. I came home chatting with Sandra and she's like, man, that smells really good. Yeah. She was detecting some kind of floral rose component to it. Mm. But I think it's those fruits, the, the, that basket of fruit at the very start mm. gives it such a, such a, a, a very light, the oud doesn't present itself so heavy in, in my opinion. Mm. Mm. I'd love to hear what the, I can see the boys really focused right now <laughs> on the scent. All right, we're gonna switch to the boys. What do you guys think, what do you guys think? I actually need to put this on. Oh, okay. This is going to go on skin. This is going to go on skin. I always love it when something becomes skin worthy. Pam says, well, that was unexpected. So fruity. Because it's called Oud Rain, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. And you think, if, to my nose, I get the warmth of the Oud at the base, but mm. it's, not, it's not in your face. Mm. It's just holding the whole thing together. It has the, the heart of Cuba. In the bottle, if you guys could see the bottle here, at the very bottom, what he did was, you know, it rains a lot over there and so at the bottom of oh, this wow. what you've got is all the raindrops that he's put in the base here so this is the real inspiration behind just like the weather and the climate of his country yeah this is a great fragrance uh, again i think value for money rainier perfumes are pretty good yeah i, I think they're you yeah. know their longevity like i said yesterday it was cold jackets on freezing and yet this fragrance was really pushing itself out. Mm. And I'd only done two sprays, so to give you an idea, it was, it was only two sprays, yeah. and it was, it was doing a good yeah. job. Yeah. Sam, Sam jumped in the chat and Sam said, I sprayed this one, huge sewage. Yeah. Then worked out at the gym, went to have a shower, went to the sauna, went in the pool and showered again. And it's still booming. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the yeah. oud now. What do you think, Eddie? What do you think? Okay, I'm getting the oud quite strongly. Now. Okay. Do you not, like not, it? Not skanky, but... Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on it? I like, I, I've not run into wooden fruit put together like this, actually. So, right. And mm -hmm. it's not too sweet. Which... No. Because sometimes when you put a lot of fruit, like take Erebapura with Zerjov, it's really, it's almost saccharine. Too much. It's too much. Yeah. If you overspray on that, you die, you know? Um, whereas I think the fruits here are well tempered mm -hmm. with that oud, all mm -hmm. those other components. Mm -hmm. is, there, is, is, is there berries or some citrus? There's pineapple? saffron also. If you, do you, if you can slightly detect a slight leather suede coming through it. Mm, mm. Michael, what do you think? I mean, I smelt, smelt it off his skin. Yeah. It smells like Christmas cake. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. I, do um, get, I can understand that. Yeah, on on yeah. his skin, it smells like Christmas yeah. cake. Um, yeah. I have the tropical one of this. And yeah. oddly enough, on a cold day, I was trying to uh, get one of my friends to actually, I was trying to show the perfume and showcase it. And... It for some reason kind of mellowed on, on the cold day, that particular mm. variant. And I, I, I tried it on day before yesterday when it was hot and it was beautiful. Uh, and it had nuances of, of this, right. but with that fruitiness that came right. out, which is fantastic. So yeah, I, I, I prefer the tropical one. You also. prefer, okay. Does the tropical have any oud in it? It does, it does. It right. it does. So it's, it's basically built off this base, but with more fruits added to it. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. In the chat, Rachel just said, it's a nice clean scent. A little soapy on me, but I surprisingly love it. She said, I would love to know how it would go laid with something like scuro. Scuro is... I love scuro. Yeah. I, I'd be interested on that too. Obviously, the bergamotto is a, a clear citrus down the bottom of the wheel. Yeah. Where we were before with oud rain, you're looking at it as a woody amber or woody oriental. Now we're moving across to more of a floral amber, which or floral oriental, which is interesting. There we go. I'm gonna pop this. Mm, smell it in the air. You, the bottle looks like this. The bottle is very tactile, by the way. Yeah. It's got this. Look at that. It's got this grain to it. It's I quite, love it. It's quite nice. It even look. It looks like a smoky kind of bottle. Mm. Yeah. Can I go on skin? I yeah, will, yeah. I will do the skin. Also. Okay. Here we go. 
How does everybody feel about incense? I'd like to get your thoughts. What, 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 what's people's thoughts on incense? Scuro is a very attractive masculine scent. That's what Rachel said. Okay. Definitely incense. You have elemi in it. Elemi is like a frankincense. You, it's almost like a more frankincense. It's a sparkling, sharper mm. note to the scent. When I smell this and I close my eyes, I think big gothic cathedral, like a church. Like we're in Europe, we're in Italy. That's the vibes I'm getting from this. Can I say, yeah. Sandra does not like incense fragrances. So when I'm wearing an incense fragrance, it's a big tuk tong. She's off camera, she's yeah. already going, oh wow. So, <laughs> so I was wearing, so when we, I had an opportunity to catch up with the boys in Florence when they released this from Boyce 1920, I was wearing Scudo in Florence. Yeah. And the whole time, Sandra's like, what are you wearing again? Yeah. What, 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 do you, what, what is that one? I'm like, it's Scudo. It's Scudo the whole day. I'm yeah. just wearing Scudo. So as an incense, if you're not too sure about incense or, you know, you're thinking mm. it might be a bit intimidating, yep. I'm going to say Scudo would be the one that you could start with. It is very wearable. Personally, for me, I usually tell customers things like incense, frankincense, myrrh, those kind of uh, notes and fragrances. I leave them for more autumn, winter. Right. I would say you leave it for more going out towards the evening. Right. I think there's this nice warmth and darkness, smokiness around you when you're wearing it. Yeah. It's a very evening appropriate style of scent to wear. I'm going to challenge that. Okay. <laughs> where, where would you be wearing something like this? This is a day fragrance. Oh, okay. I was wearing this sunny day, out and about. Yeah. And it, what you're smelling, so yeah. when you bring it up to your nose, yeah. what you're smelling and the sillage is two different things. Because mm -hmm. what I was detecting and what Sandra was picking up in the air on, in, in off me, two different things. Mm. It's a really, as an incense fragrance, big recommendation. Yeah. I can see the boys. I the can boys, see the boys there. The boys, are, <laughs> the boys are in full conversation. We're, we're going to flip across to the boys. Can I say, Yes. this is nostalgia for me, this smell. The reason I say that is because I'm Sri Lankan. We have, like Mate, we've got a, we've got a herbal, herbal drink mm -hmm. that we have coriander, that's boiled with cardamom, clove, and mm -hmm. all of these herbs put together. And, and the taste of it and the smell just reminds me of, of that particular drink that we used, to, we used to have as kids. And it was one of those things that, you know, the witch doctor said, if you drink a lot of this, it's good and healthy for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of it. But, but this just takes me back and it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I, I love the smell of it. Did you try it on skin? I have. Yeah, because I could see you smell it. Yeah, so and it's it's different on the car. Absolutely, it's different on my skin as well. Yeah. There's a there's a fruity. If we have a look at the notes, because it's interesting that Michael picked up cardamom. Cardamom is one of the key players in this fragrance. Coming across as ar green and aromatic. There you go. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. It's interesting it's that... Like, it's like fresh cardamom seeds. And yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, it, this is actually graded as a floral amber. I would not. I'm challenging. That. I would not put that I'm, there. See, for me, it's like a mossy wood or a dry wood or something because there is a woody component to it, and the spiciness from the cardamom. In that herbal drink, there's a bit of woods that they add to it, right? Uh -huh. um, and that woodiness is also coming out of yeah. it, and it's just yeah. Um, it's reminding me a little bit about uh, kahwa, like uh, Arabic Turkish right. coffee. Yeah, right, right. And it just mentioned that. Bodice of the Victorious Carver. They have one like Carver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah, cardamom, the I always find you get that. This is a bit similar to the trick with the cardamom. Yes, there, so it yes. It smells like you've got the fresh seed and just... So if you look at these notes, everyone, and a lot of the things that we're detecting and picking up, I'm not sure what you guys are getting from your end, but you can see that it has a citrusy sort of opening. There is quite a lot of pepper in there, and cardamom is a big player in the fragrance with woods. Interesting, it has vanilla and it has some um, some ambers in the base. Yeah. So it's not a traditional incense, so there's no myrrh and, and frankincense. Yeah. It's actually constructed with all these other components, yeah. which is pretty interesting. This is one of those scents where I feel like initial hit, you get a smoky incense yeah. and you think that is the scent. Yeah. But if you just give it 10 minutes, if you give it a chance, if it's like a nice gentleman and you just want to, and you just give him a chance right there, he might impress you. The scent is impressive. I find he just stumbled on his words at the start. You yeah, know? give yeah. him a chance again. Start again. Start There's again. something there. Yeah, There's yeah, something yeah. there. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, can I ask a question? I didn't. I didn't see the the note breakdown. Yeah. But is there a minty, peppery tone to it? There is a lot of black pepper. Mm. So it's, there's black pepper First in the opening, yeah, and there's black pepper in, yeah. in the heart. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. In the heart, it's a um, Sichuan pepper. There you go. Yeah. So you get that more sharp. 
Yeah, I find it, it comes out, but it takes some time. It's a good fragrance. It takes I, could, some I could have blasted pepper off it straight away. Yeah, yeah, okay. When, they, when the boys showed this to me and they said incense, because it, again, Sandra doesn't like it, so I, I, I sort of switched off a little yeah. until I tested it. Yeah. And then I'm like, whoa. So again, incense fragrance, don't just judge it because it's an incense fragrance. Yeah. Really put it on skin, let it evolve, and then see what sort of sea it does for you yeah. with those around you. I'm going to jump in the chat before we move on and just, yes. and just have a, a bit of a read. Roberto says, I think Scudo might be the first fragrance-focused incense I've tried, and I really like Scudo. The evolution is also very interesting. Yep. Uh, Mercedes says, The smell of Scudo reminds me of the smell of my grandmother's house and I spent summers with her. So for me, wearing it in summer is so nostalgic. That is beautiful. beautiful. That is beautiful. I love, fra I love fragrance for memories, you know? Just the way it, yeah. it just takes you somewhere. Yeah. I love it. I'll let you pick. Where should we jump to? I, I think we should go, let's go a little bit floral. Actually, very floral. Oh, wow. The projection on this is really big. This is... I'm going to make a big call here. Yeah. I don't know if a man could wear this one. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. And I'm always going on. Rose, I, I would wear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Eddie would say otherwise. I knew, but let me let me finish, and then Eddie, yeah. you you'll have the floor. So I'm always going on about how I like floral in my fragrance. I always recommend men to have floral in their fragrances. Yeah. However, the yep. florals that I recommend have some kind of woody component to it. There are other elements in there. It's not just. It's balanced. It's balanced. Yeah. So. Rose de May, in my opinion, mm. is very, it's a very realistic rose mm. and it's a very subtle, gentle, feminine mm. touch to it. Right. As a man, if you like yeah. woods or aromatics and stuff like that, it doesn't have any here. I agree, yep. This I picture definitely a, a, a very elegant woman who could wear this during the day yep. to the office at work. But personally, when I smell this, there's this unique, I think, very particular kinds of roses, there's this really special occasion quality yep. about it. Yep. And I feel like this for me is your Friday evening, Saturday night dinner, going out on a date, going out with the family. The Rose de May, this, this collection here mm. is the grass collection. This is yep. a celebration of all those key notes yep. that came out or have come out of grass. Yep. Rose being one of them. So, and yep. rose is normally picked in May in grass. Yep. So this is really a celebration yep. of all of that from that region. They call it the May Rose. Yeah. yeah. Right. This has been perfumed by the legend, Jean-Claude Elena, who was, uh, some of you guys may not know his name, but he's, I would call him the mastermind behind most of the perfumes out of Hermes and a lot of other really big houses. And he's French. He's a big deal. Yeah, he's a... And he did all the grass collection. He yeah. did all the fragrances yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a lot of experience in a fragrance like so this. So that was our perspective. We feel it's a bit more feminine leaning, yeah. a bit more, uh, you know, more a woman could wear. But we have Eddie. And I know Eddie loves florals. The floor is yours. What are your thoughts? I, I can see why you'd say that, mm. but I would gladly wear this. I'd say I don't really like citrus focus things. This has got a lot of, this would be a good, there's not a lot of good summer rose scents and this does have the citrus up top. I think it's grapefruit, something astringent and citrus up top. We'll have a look at the notes. Something yeah. else in there as well. Okay. What are the ladies saying? First we have, we have uh, Kat. Kat says, this is very nostalgic for me. It reminds me of pulling petals off mum's roses in the garden and crushing them to make soup when I was a child. Scott and Bella, they say, probably the most photorealistic rose I've ever smelt. Impressive. Totally agree. I know in this fragrance we have rose absolute with geranium, musk. Wow. Would you guys wear this? I would actually like to hear from the guys. Would any of the guys, I can see Yanni shaking his head. <laughs> Yanni's like, no, 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 <laughs> he wouldn't wear this. <laughs> Liam, would any of the guys wear this? Actually, the citrus is dying off, so the rose is more prominent. Hot day. Hot day is beautiful. Hot day, yeah, I would. From that really beautiful feminine rose, I want us <laughs> to move. Interrenia perfumes, Cacique. So if the last one was for the girls, roses of May, this is for the boys. The bosses. <laughs> this is for the boys. All right, so let me tell you what cacique means. So cacique is a, the name of a South American chief. My grandfather, he had South American blood, so yeah. native of South American. Yep. And we used to call him el cacique. So he was the cacique for our family. Wow. All right, so, yep. so it basically means the boss. So this is a boss fragrance. I yep. love cacique. 
that first hit, the dark warmth, mm. the spices in Good. this, it's got this commanding, really powerful, energetic feeling. When I smell this scent, in my opinion, purely autumn winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would not be pulling it out in warm weather. I feel like it yeah, would suffocate no. you. This is my winter fragrance. Yeah. Is, there, is there oud in it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Michael asked, <laughs> is there oud in it? Yeah. I should think we, pull up, yeah, should we pull up the notes? Have a look at the notes. <laughs> you've got in the cacique pine tree, you've got pink pepper, neroli. In the heart, you have Indian oud, sandalwood, orris, jasmine, and patchouli. And in the base, you have Cambodian oud with vanilla, car caramel, raspberry, and musk. So that play on the oud and the peppers and the woods, it really pops out. Personally, I don't get so much of the uh, vanilla and, and some of the other sweeter notes in the base. But um, I'm going to challenge that. Okay. <laughs> because I find that this is the, the, if you want a fragrance, and Kevin mentioned this earlier, yeah. if you want a fragrance that has incredible evolution, that really dances, mm. Kasika is the one. So where it starts, it starts off very bold. Think of it like, a, like someone who needs to command an, an audience or hold a crowd. You're yeah. going to start strong. Yeah. You know, like, you got to be the guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then as you start to, you know, move through, you start to back off and yeah. you start, I'm a nice guy, yeah. trust me, you know, I just needed to get your attention. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts off very strong, very oud, very, very punchy. Yeah. But it does go, when it does, when it does dry down, it does go into those caramel, mm. those sweeter notes. That's actually quite a, quite an impressive, impressive fragrance. We'd love to hear the boys. I can see their expression. The boys are chatting in the back. Yeah, yeah. I, love, I love your energy back here, boys. I can see it, I can see it. What do you think, Mark? What do you think? I, I don't get the caramel. No, not yet. Not yet. But okay. no. give it I an get hour. the patchouli. Give yep. it an hour. Yep. Yeah. So there's a cocoa kind of note coming with the oud. The neroli with, with, with the pine tree. So the pine tree, yeah, yeah. adds that green sharpness. Because I couldn't oh, see the... Uh, yeah, there's pine in it. Yeah, so that, 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 that kind of green opening, sharp yeah. element in the opening that you'll get. So I like that they use that instead of like a bergamot or a citrus. I think this creates more depth to the fragrance. I like it. And again, it's, it's very, good, isn't it? very complex. Very complex. What do you think, Eddie? Yeah, I, I, I got the pine, yep. very woody, yep. which, is, which is the cacao. I'm getting something smoky in there. I don't know what it is. I, I reckon it's the oud. There's, there's quite a bit of oud in there. Yeah. Yeah. And the oud really pops yeah. out very quickly on the on that opening. Not getting the caramel, but I was. Give it an Tony hour. Tony yeah. yesterday. Give so it an hour. It's going to take a lot of caramel to get yeah. through. Yeah. There we go. Right now, right, right now, I think you get a lot of that blend of Indian and Cambodian oud. Yeah. Is that in that, the middle? Is, is the, both. Right in the middle? So Indian oud first, Cambodian oud in the base, and what I find is, uh, I actually had the pleasure of me and Eddie sitting and smelling a bunch of ouds, and I find that there's a lot of ouds that have this more creamy facet to it and i think that's what you're getting through the heart of this yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of the more maybe southeast asian style ouds are quite creamy there you go so those notes in the bass do play i promise you they yeah. do play you got to give it the fragrance a chance yeah it will emerge yeah. they will emerge if you're down for it i would recommend actually finding a spot on your arm go on skin i already did it go on skin it's it, i promise you this yeah. is a really really good fragrance i had a there was a question there from from belinda which is yeah. what do the ladies think would love to hear if you like or not so much yeah. like i'd love to hear what your Let's thoughts get... are meredith oh. just just unmuted herself yeah meredith what do you think what do you think Yes. It sounds a bit like leather. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. This is a boss fragrance. Yeah. Meaning that you really have to. Comp you got to own it. You got to own it. Yeah. Just like that rose fragrance. I mean, I, 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 I couldn't wear it. I know that some men can. Yeah. But I, I, I just couldn't own it. Whereas Gasica, yeah. I yeah. can own it. You know, mm -hmm. I can. There's this, there's, there's this expression I hear from a lot of customers that come through. They always say, <laughs> sometimes you, you wear a fragrance, or sometimes you let the fragrance wear you. You gotta wear this fragrance. This one you gotta yeah, wear. You gotta wear you gotta, it. You Just know. own it. I like it. Oh, I like, really like it. It's gorgeous it's fragrance. Rainier perfumes yeah, right. again. I think Rainier really a big hitting. They they over deliver. They yeah. over deliver. I want to go to. This is going to be very exciting. It is in the Paris brand, Vanille de Tahiti, and it's the X Straight. Honestly, I would say forget about the card. Forget about the card. Please, please forget about the card. This one go on skin. You, you don't want to waste this. Let me tell you why. Technically, it's this is well. I was gonna say unreleased. It's been just released here in Australia. We only just got it two weeks ago, so this is brand new. And you guys are some of the first people to get your nose on this fragrance because it's a 
It was uh, released as a novelty at um, the last show. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, a few months ago. So yeah. It's very new. I'm going to go on skin. This bottle is so new that I haven't even sprayed it yet. There we go. Oh. I was going to say, don't do two sprays. Don't do what he just did. <laughs> two sprays. Give yourself two sprays of this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Please tell me. What, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, that's good. Ooh. That's just gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Big call. The best of vanilla on the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big call. You need to give it some time. Just let it sit on your skin. Just look at that. So this, if you guys are familiar with Paris, they have a vanilla de Tahiti EGP. Yeah. So they have an Eau de Parfum in the black bottle. This is the new release done in an extra version. I'm finding this, just look at the film on my, I don't know if the camera can see this, but look at that gorgeous layer of oil. This gets me excited. We just love your sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's stunning, that's good. Get it on skin, guys. I would love to hear some of your reactions. Let's, let's open the chat. Rachel says, vanillas are my weakness. <laughs> this Pam is the one. Pam says, I wasn't expecting the fruity and citrus aspect. Yanni says, this fragrance got me a date. <laughs> Yanni! <laughs> Let's go! So you've already been spraying. Good for, good for you, my man. Yeah, good for you. Liam, oh, yeah, Liam. Liam says, vanilla, but has a slight florals to it as well. I want to tell you about that. So yeah. we're going to settle into this. Yeah. Should we open up? Should we open up? Uh, hang on, we're getting, yeah. we're getting another comment. Kat says, smells like Buller vanilla ice cream straight off the bat. As it settles, it smells a bit more boozy. Mm. I always pick up that really warm booziness. Yep. Scott and Bella says, it's got that mmm, baby feeling. Mmm, <laughs> baby, what's your name? <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's go. Actually, if we have a look at the notes, because one of the key, I think the magic of this, and it's only in the extract version, it has magnolia. Yep. Now magnolia, depending how the perfumer uses it, can be very a slight white floral, but in this case here, there is an animalic component to it, a floral animalic. It just makes the fragrance so mm. seductive and sensual and sexy and works on a man, works on a woman. Mm. I think also because of the vanilla and the woods in the base, it can go anywhere. You know, yeah. not just Sometimes you get a, a, a vanilla that is overtly vanilla and it feels a little bit more female. Yes. Whereas this one can be a man, a woman. I find it's, it has a lot of depth and complexity. Absolutely. Personally, every time I spray it, the standout note to me is the ylang ylang. Yeah, right. That, that, oh. that yellow floral comes through more than the magnolia on my skin. And I just find, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. What I'm, do you? I'm going to say one more thing. Yeah. So I've had my bottle since since March. We've been using it quite a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You just sprayed that. I noticed it. So when Kevin sprayed, he actually pumped it a few times to get the, the, the perfume. Brand new bottle. This smells different. So mine, I think, has macerated longer. Yeah. And what do you get from yours? Uh, mine is, the, the vanilla is richer. It, it's not as, I mean, the vanilla is here. It's present. Actually, and I, can I agree. It. But the vanilla is yeah. deeper in my yeah. one. I agree. Because I went to his office before the gym and this was probably a, over a month ago. Uh, I remember And this. I went to go grab it because we didn't have it at the shop. And I thought, yeah, does this guy have it? And I don't have it. <laughs> so I ran over to grab it. I went to Milan. Yeah. I sprayed it. I went to the gym and the vanilla was so rich and warm. Probably because I was wearing it under a hoodie and, you know, a lot of warmth. Mm. That vanilla was insane. More than what I'm getting yeah. now on yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I would agree with you there. Yeah. So the, these are, so it's an extrait. Did I say it right, Sam? Extrait de parfum. Um, <laughs> oh God, I'm trying my French. We're going to France soon, so that's why he's, best. he's practicing. <laughs> um, so the, the oils have been amped up. So you're getting 20 plus oils in here. So yeah. spray gently. Uh, don't, don't, you know, if you, are, if you like to spray like five, I would say two. Two, yeah. <laughs> I, I spray two on this and it lasts me the day. Agreed. Uh, but anyway, super complex, beautiful fragrance. And yeah. for, as a vanilla, as I yeah. mentioned, I think it's probably the best on the market. Yeah. This I'd love to hear from the girls too. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give a drink. Liza, Liza said, mmm, yummy. Pam said, I sprayed it on skin at 11 a.m. and it's still going. My skin usually eats fragrances for breakfast. That is really cool, Pam. That's really cool. Um, let's see. Jane says, I'm actually not a fan of the opening, ah. but as it settles, or as it settles in, it's growing on me. Mm. I can picture wearing this on date night, somewhere tropical. 
There we go. Meredith says, I smell the magnolia. There we go. Scott and Bella, last comment here. Scott and Bella says, it's a lot more unique than I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be just sickly vanilla, but there's a lot going on here. Agreed, 100% agreed. I think sometimes you reach for a vanilla scent and what you get is a true gourmand. Yeah. So you're getting vanillas with caramel or with, you know, just other... This is not gourmand. In my opinion, this yeah. is not a gourmand fragrance. It's like a vanilla floral, mm -hmm. not really vanilla Absolutely. gourmand. I'm a nerd, I can't help myself. Because it, it doesn't sit as a gourmand, I yeah. mean, for me, this would probably be like a floral amber, I yeah. would have thought. They put it in... Oh yeah, so it's, a, it's an amber. So it's a pure oriental. Mm. I can kind of see that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Boys, what do you think? Eddie and Michael on the chair here on the thrones. Can I say, um, it's a subtle vanilla, which is nice. It's not overpowering. Yeah. But is, I'm getting this kind of marzipan, almondy right. mixture, which is awesome. I love marzipan. So, mm. mm -hmm. but, but that's how it's sort of coming across to me. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hello, Eddie. Yeah, I kind of got that as well. I thought maybe a heliotrope, but maybe it's the, oh, maybe it's the magnolia. Magnolia and the, and, and the right, ylang, ylang ylang blend. Ylang. This is gorgeous. This is something else. It's gorgeous. It's something else. We should move on to next. Let's try um, to one of these two. What are your thoughts? I was going to save this to last. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a big hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that <laughs> fills the room. I want to grab the next one, guys, is this bottle named Cannabis Dolce. In the name, instantly, Cannabis. So Cannabis Dolce, you're going to... I probably sprayed too much there. What? So, disclaimer on my part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't like the cannabis smell. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's an area in, in Melbourne called St. Kilda. <laughs> <Aren't you? laughs> and I, That'd be in Fitzroy, man. Oh, Fitzroy. <laughs> Actually, mainly St. Kilda. You, yeah. know, you walk through St. Kilda and you're like, whoa. What, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is happening? Oh. Um, so, that cannabis smell, I, I have a hard time with it. So to have a cannabis perfume, I'm like, what? But I love this one. Yeah. I yeah. don't like, so they've got a few varieties. They've got cannabis, cannabis uh, frutata, cannabis mm. saltata. Yep. Salta. And uh, no disrespect to it. It's just not for me. Fair enough. But I love this one. Okay. This one I can wear. Tell me why. The, the cannabis note, so that green note isn't so prevalent. What I'm getting, for me, this is a beautiful gourmand. This is a spicy, warm sits on your skin so wonderfully. The yeah. sea edge on this is divine. There is a little bit of greenness. For those who may have experienced the green cannabis, the, the, the from Boyce 1920, man, that is intense. Mm. That is just like... The dark, the, the depth of this fragrance, that gorgeous. cannabis note to me comes off almost like a pairing of oud patchouli. Yeah. It comes off almost like that. There's cacao in here. Yeah. So yeah. you can see that there's cacao Hmm. mixed in with the cannabis, with the, the spicier notes of cardamom and things of that nature. Yeah. If you have room on your, on your skin, yeah. this is one for the skin. Just test it out. I know in this, there's vanilla bean in it as well. So you get that creaminess with the cacao. It's very unique. It is very unique. And I always very give respect to brands that want to take it a step a bit more out there yeah. and venture out into things that haven't been explored yet. Because yeah. people like, I know a bunch of you guys and also us as well, we've, got our, we've had our noses on thousands of perfumes. Thousands of perfumes. And some days I find when I'm trying new things, I feel like, oh, it's kind of already been done. I don't want to say it to the brand, obviously, but it's kind of already been done. I respect when they go bores out like this. Yeah. They take a chance. Just give you a little bit of background on Boyce 1920. They've been around since 1920, all right? So it's Bottega Italiana. Uh, Bottega Italiano Spigo. That's it. Spigo de Lavender. That's right. So, yeah. that was, so that's the acronym to create uh, Boyce. Uh, they've been, it's been in the family since the very beginning. Yeah. So The Gallardi family? That's right. Yep. So Mauro, he came in, he went to a cannabis fair. He came back and he, he went to a cannabis, a cannabis fair. fair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For medical reasons. For medical reasons. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 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 <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I myself have a medical license. <laughs> There's a lot of medical reasons in San Kilda also. So, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sure he did. Actually, Mauro, sorry. <laughs> just, He's going to be like, hey, hey oh, wait. my arm. So, um, he went to, the, and he thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a cannabis fragrance? Yeah. yeah. And that's, and, that, and it all started from that. Yeah. I'm going to say that they were the very 
first pioneers in this space. Yeah. So cannabis fragrance yeah. has now become a, a lot. It's a hot thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a trendy thing yeah. to do a cannabis scent. So if you'd like that cannabis note, Boyce 1920, yeah. do it the best. Yeah. Really do it the best. Yeah. I've smelt some others and they're like, yeah, they're okay. Yeah. But that the green bottle is photorealistic. That yeah. thing is like... If I can break down a bit of the cannabis collection, you have the green... You know what? Give me two seconds. All right, hang oh, on a second. Because we're gonna look at, and actually we want to switch to these boys here. So I want, we want these boys to smell. You want to smell the real cannabis one. Ah, so, right, yeah. So here it is. Spray spray it. Like okay, it. okay. Can I, can I get you, here, spray that. All right, so think. we have, okay, yep. Yeah. The boys are holding, I would call this the original cannabis. So this is the first one. Actually, we'll, we'll yeah, there you go. Yeah, it comes on the boys. So this is the first one, boys. This is just called cannabis. You have three layers and every layer, top note, middle note, and base note, has cannabis in there. A little bit of a, I think there's like a veteran patchouli. I can smell it. Yeah, I can yeah. have you even go. But it's it. more or less, wow. smells like a good time. Cops are gonna roll here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, dri I'm driving it. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? <laughs> what do you think, Eddie? What do you think? Doesn't actually smell like <laughs> <laughs> He's like, brings, brings me back to my early days. <laughs> <laughs> how how that is isn't that photorealistic yeah yeah, yeah. that is all, almost there's, there's something juicy about it there's yeah at the end of the day it's still a perfume yes, so it's yes. designed to be a perfume yes. but yeah my gosh but when you buds. smell that the the other two that i have in front of me here so th these are the other um these are the next releases from them we have cannabis frutata and if you guys are in melbourne and want to come to, come to the store come down here and visit uh the store to try it this is what I would call like a fruity cannabis. And then the blue one, Cannabis Salata, is like an aquatic cannabis. And then, so the last one we've got, the Cannabis Dolce we're covering now, this would be what I would call the Gourmand Cannabis. See, I'm smelling the green one and I don't like it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it's I, too I'm, much. It's too much. Yes, okay. Whereas, yeah. oh man, I can smell it in the air, holy cow. Whereas that, the, the Cannabis Dolce is divine, really, really. It's something I'm, I can wear, it's, it is a winter fragrance. Uh, I don't know if it would work so well in summer. Let's see. I would love to hear what you guys... Yeah, what, There's what, 25 what? comments. The people are going nuts. Scott and Bella say, just smells green and herbal to me. Don't get too much skank. No. Roberto says, Mauro from Boyce 1920 baptized me. <laughs> it's in the video. <laughs> baptized me this at Essence. If you look at the, re the recent video that I did on, um, on the channel, have a look at the video where he is literally being baptized. Just with this, yeah, really? He was doing this cloud. Oh no. oh no. I'm watching him going, oh my God. Uh oh. <laughs> you like it. Scott and Bella say, my wife says it smells like mint chocolates. Oh. Which I can understand. Well, there is cacao in it. Yeah. Cacao and that cannabis greenness gives you a very minty touch. Yeah, right. Um, Vera says, this is a very fruity uh, cannabis scent. Right. Definitely can't wear it out. If not, I'll probably get risk. Uh, I'll probably risk getting will. arrested. <laughs> I think you will. I'm just going to put it out there. I know what Singapore. You know, you guys are very strict. Yeah. Uh, Jane says too green for me. Very herbal. Yeah. I can understand yeah. that. I yeah. can understand yeah. that. Uh, Jess, Jessica says I live near San Francisco, so the smell of cannabis is everywhere. Right. This is a little too much for me. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> Wait till you smell the green one. Oh my gosh. Kat says, I quite like it. Wouldn't wear it to work because I'm a teacher, yeah. but I would happily. <laughs> uh, the cat says, but I would happily wear it during the summer on a weekend. Nice. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah that's nice. a good idea. We don't want to get anyone in trouble. But if you ever get pulled over, uh, Simone and Mauro gave me the box and they showed me at the bottom of it. They had to make sure that it says THC free. Because that's how realistic the yeah, scent yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you guys a funny story. When we got the shipment of the first cannabis collection, I got a phone call to the store from customs at the security because they were asking, they were just asking, what is this? What are you doing? There's a photo of a cannabis plant on the box. So you're going to think, oh, it's, it's called cannabis. It has a cannabis leaf on it. Is this Asian guy just stupid trying to, <laughs> trying to, trying to import this in the middle of the day? <laughs> uh, no, it's perfume, I swear. <laughs> You make it so obvious that they think, oh, it must be. It can't be. Yeah, yeah it can't, can't, can't oh, be. It can't yeah, be. Yeah. Is it, no. I love it. I love it. It's top grade Vietnamese stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the best, brother. Let's go over to Renier next. And this is called Habana 500. Just to let you know that... This is gorgeous, everyone. Another, another... Don't get it on your shirt. Don't get it on my shirt because it, it sticks. Oh, Hannah, Hannah behind the camera just said, don't get it on my shirt. 
Oh, it is. It is tinged with a blue. It's tinged with a blue. Um, a little bit, yeah. Um, this is a limited edition release. Looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That blue. How, how good are the sprays though for? Um, oh, absolutely. The rainier ones. Um, what's that movie called? Oh, the uh, Blade Runner. Yeah, your Blade Runner. It's a very cool like Blade Runner look. I love it. Now this is a limited edition release by Rainier. So I wasn't going to put it in because I wasn't sure if they had enough samples. But it is still in the market from the brand, so you can still snatch it up if you like this fragrance. This scent, to be honest with you, sometimes at first spray, when I watered the first few times actually, it took my brain a little while to comprehend the fragrance. Right. It was so complex, different notes shooting in at different yep. parts, and I felt like it wasn't, it wasn't in the same area of the fragrance wheel. It kind of was different notes pulled from everywhere. Yep. Reading the background of this fragrance, Renier Mendez wanted to make this scent uh, just to really show the heart of his country yep. and different elements of it. So you're getting things like... His country being Cuba, so ha yeah, Havana. Yeah. Yep. So you're getting the, you know, the sea notes, the mints there with the apple. Then you get the coffee and the leathers, the milk. So it's like you're walking through the markets as well. Correct. Yeah, insane. What do you think about this? I, I, for me, the coffee note has a, like a malt component mm. to it. Mm -hmm. It has this like multi, and I think it's probably the coffee with the milk, that lactose, yes. sort of blending together. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's an Italian biscuit that you have in the morning called biscottetta. I ah. think that's how you pronounce it. It's yeah. that biscottata. biscottata. My Italian wife corrected me. Like, Grazie, bella. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called biscottata, and it's a, it's a, like a double toasted bread that you can buy from the supermarket, but it has a malt sort of gr a cereal mm. smell mm. to it. I love smelling it. I, when I open the packet, I will smell the toast first yeah. before I do anything. Yeah, with it. there is a toasty smell. Yeah, yes. it's beautiful, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And yeah. that fruitiness that Michael mentioned before is definitely in that opening from that apple. Yeah. It, this is, and again, another one like Cacique, where you are now, where it moves to, where you end up at all different places. This, the fragrance has a lot of evolution. Yeah. yeah. Good fragrance. The boys have a lot to say. Yeah? I want to know what they're thinking. If you take a pink lady apple, mm -hmm. right? You put a bit of salt, pepper, um, chili powder, and a bit of vinegar and a bit of sugar. You mix it all up. Yeah. The and if you eat that, it's it tastes like what this smells like. Right, right. I think the, it's wonderful because it, being that it just has an apple in that opening, I get the mango like you said before. I do get like a a very sweet juicy tropical sort of component from it gorgeous fragrance it's a beautiful yeah. fragrance i want to read some of your comments right. sam says the blue color is very strong i can see where i sprayed it on skin hours ago i need to tell you guys it seems like a case of the sample perhaps having a lot more of that blue come out yeah. but when you get a bottle it doesn't no so yeah. on me on the bottle it doesn't it no. could just be the sample i yeah. think yeah the color in it yeah so you'll be sweet with that don't stress about the color so much um Vera says, looks like alien goo, but it smells damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica says, this definitely grew on me. At first, I was taken aback because I thought it would be a kind of tobacco, spicy, just based off the name. But as it settled, I really like how the creamy coffee and how lactonic it got. The funny thing is, when I saw the name Habana, yeah. I did think I did think, think cigar. Maybe Cuban cigar. Correct. That's and I, I did the to. same thing. Yeah. And it wasn't until I sprayed it, and yeah. I'm like, like that that fruity opening. I'm like, oh, this is different. This is unusual. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it goes into that coffee like tonic. When milk. I smell it, I would almost put it in the fields of a more dark gourmand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not so much like yeah. woody and stuff like that. Yeah, Actually, yeah. quite gourmand. Uh, yep, um, Liam says, bit of coffee, warm spices, wrapped up in smokiness. Beautiful. Um, Yanni says, actually, from the second note, it's great. Tabania Priscilla says, Habana 500 has a bad opening, but gets nice as it settles. <laughs> Roberto says, there's nothing like Habana 500. It's so unique. I don't know if I love it or don't. To me, the dry down almost gets an animalic oud right. or a dark acidic like coffee smell. I agree. That coffee totally. scent has got that acidic lactonicness. It's, it's kind of a juxtaposition, but it's, it's, it's very niche. Unique. Yeah. It's very niche. Actually, that's very the, niche. That, you know, I always loved when I spray something and I'm like, oh, I don't think this is for me. Yeah. And then I progress through the oh, day and like, I'm like, hang on a second. There's like, there's, who is that? There's, there's things that, that just come out of yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And then the fragrance. I, and like you said before, sometimes because we do this, I mean, we have, 
we're constantly smelling different fragrances. Mm. It's always exciting when you get something that's new yeah. that then evolves into this, like, what is this magic? Yeah. You know? So, yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Kevin, do you, if you don't mind me asking, yes. what, because I can't see prices, yeah. what's the price? For you, it's only $1,900. For you, I'm going to add an extra zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's the VIP, uh, what's the opposite of a discount? The VIP surcharge. The <laughs> luxury goods. <laughs> That's right. No, I'll, I'll, that okay. I gotta find the price on the website. I, I don't wanna misquote here, okay, in, case, in case I say something very cheap and everyone's like, hey, no one's. Yeah. All right. Last one. This I is a monster. Saved it last on purpose. Yeah. I think you could probably tell, oh, why aren't we doing that one yet? No, as soon as you said, no, wait, I'm like, yeah, no, you're right. We yeah, should wait. Yeah. We should wait. I yeah. saved this last on purpose. You guys, I want you to grab from Boyce 1920. It's the fragrance, the last one. It's called Framenti. This will not come off. Yeah. So if you're going to bed now, I'm just giving you a heads up. You're going to smell tonight. This will and tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. This is oh, potent. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to smell a few. Oh, it smells like... An extra it's actually it's not perform. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not extra. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it needs to be. Yeah. To be honest oh, with you, I can smell from here. Yeah. The projection on this is always crazy. When I have customers come in and spray it in the store, and I'm serving somebody else in the corner, I always turn my head because the the whiff of it just travels through the room, and I'm like, somebody sprayed my favorite perfume. Yeah. <laughs> so, the bottle is actually gold leaf, so they they're actually hand created. Each one is unique. Wow, look at this. The opening. Jessica's first reaction here. I love, yeah, I just absolutely I love. huge, huge reaction. Yeah, <laughs> this is incredible. Jessica said, I love this. My favorite of the bunch. Yeah. I wore it to a workout class. Yeah. Oh, everyone in the class could smell it. This will last forever. So Sandra, <laughs> this has become her favorite. My son had become his favorite. I smell it in stereo in my house. Sandra comes from one direction, my son from the other. The, the whole house is as, uh, has the sensiage from this particular fragrance. Yeah, Vera said, I've used up two samples that I had previously, and this is an absolutely magical fragrance. Pam says, hands down my favorite of tonight. Tabani, Pris Priscilla says, Fermenti is so heavenly. I could not agree more. Yes. Boys, what do you think? I like it. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the fruits up top. There's something okay. astringent in them. Yeah. There's rose in there. There's a lot going on. There is a lot a going on. A bit lipsticky, but there's no iris, so I'm going to guess there's probably violet. Yeah, yeah. Michael, I'm still processing all the yeah. notes. I feel like this is something for your wife, uh, Michael, for sure. for yeah. Mel. I think she would really like this. Yep. It's beautiful. It's. I would still say it does lean a little bit on the feminine side. To be honest with you, very complex in the florals. I think so. Citrus on the opening. For me, I always get like a black current like a blueberry black currant yes. sort of scent in that opening. Yeah. Nice fruitiness. A lot of florals in the heart. So you mentioned, so there's magnolia, there's geranium, violet, rose, and then in the base, vanilla, caramel, and amber and musk. It lasts on skin forever. I yeah. promise you, it lasts yeah. on skin forever. And you want it to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the caramel that's coming out. I yeah. agree, I agree. Yeah. When I spray this, the way that I describe it to customers as I've been selling it in the last few weeks here, this is one of the new releases, by the way. So it's in their latest releases that they've just put out from Essence. This has been a big hitter for them. Yeah. So this has come out of the gate like super fast. It's just You can imagine. You yeah. Can, yeah, absolutely. It is, I, I like to describe it as you get that fruitiness mm. with a very complex floral in the heart. Yeah. Personally, the reason why I love it is when I smell it, I imagine like this beautiful spiced caramel that wraps around the whole fragrance. Right. Throughout the whole day, I've got this for 10 hours easily, yep. and I always get nice hints of caramel come and go. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. this is beautiful. Can I say, um, in the States, they've got caramel apple. Oh yeah. Ah, yes. That's, that's, yeah. What's that's what you're picking up. Like yeah. a caramel toffee the, apple. The, the spiciness is, is floral, I think, rather than spicy, it's the geranium. On, on, on Kevin's skin, I'm mm. getting more caramel. On Sandra, it's yeah. more floral. Yeah, I'm picking up more caramel on him. I've always got more okay. vanilla okay. caramel florals. off me. You're getting yeah. florals. Because yeah. you're saying, because on, on Sandra's skin, I, I detect the fruitiness, it stays there throughout. So like you said before about the caramel wrapping itself around, I mm. feel like it's the fruit blueberry that wraps itself around, but it's all floral. Yeah, yeah. It's wild. Yeah, I love how with different, and that's why we always say go on skin, skin right. because different people, it's going to smell different. Yeah. This is a belief I have, I, it's never been proven, but I really believe that because of everyone's diet as well, it's going to affect 
So I we all, so you know, people that eat more spicier food, mm -hmm. it creates a different richness. I think so. For me, I eat a lot of rice. I don't know what that does to fragrance, but, but maybe maybe more strong. caramel comes out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Sandra says, wore it two days ago and it lasted even after I showered. Love it. Believe that. Um, Mercedes says, reminded me a little bit of the Delina exclusive, but I find this one much better. It doesn't dry down unpleasant on my skin like the Delina does. Cat right. says, this is a standout for me this evening. Absolutely stunning fragrance. Uh, Tabani and Priscilla say, that it's too floral for men, but I would put it on the feminine side. Yeah. I understand. Absolutely. My son wears it. He's 24, 25. Yeah. He loves wearing this fragrance, but I, I, Sandra's really claimed it as her own. So, yeah, I, I, for me, it's, it's, it is a feminine yeah. lean. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Wow, there we go. That's Yvonne cool. says, for me, it's the green and the rhubarb that are competing right. with the violet. Right. Whereas Rachel says, it's very rosy on me. Yeah. And that's what actually, um, Edward, you said the same thing. You were picking up the rose coming through. smelled it off me. It's, yeah, it's, it's completely florals. floral. There's yeah. no caramel note whatsoever. I mean, I, I smelled it on, on Ed and it smelled completely floral. And on me, it's caramel and fruity. Yeah. And there's absolutely no floral whatsoever on it. Which is amazing. There we go. <laughs> Sandra's going, I have to spray. No. No, Sandra. Oh, on Kevin. Oh, you more caramel. Kevin? I got... You don't want to smell it on Kevin. <laughs> You just want to me. Roberto says it's so good, but I'm not sure if I could wear it. Yeah. So much is happening in this, and it lasts forever. It's amazing, but I think it leans more feminine. Yep. But there will be a place and a time where I will excuse it and wear it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Look again. This can be worn by a man. All right. So yeah. I, I was wearing it until, like I said, Sandra's claimed it as hers. My son wears it. I'll you you love wearing. I it. I love wearing this. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, Mauro's son, when he first, yeah, Lorenzo, he was wearing it. So yeah. it, it, it's, it's Sometimes you just got to say, screw it. I love the scent. That's it. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to rock it. This is for People me. that smell it, they're not going to ask you, is this a men's or a women's yeah, perfume? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> actually, so what's everyone's pick for today? I'm curious to know, because I, I saw, was it, was it the Belinda? I think you said that it, that... Uh, that was your favorite? Yeah, Fermenti yeah. was your favorite. Yeah. So put in the comments, what, uh, what's, I what's, say, yeah. what's been a standout for you Everyone's guys? favorites... Everyone's favorites. Sam, Sam says Vanille de Tahiti. Yes. Okay. Oh, Jane, this is a curveball. Jane says, I've been going back to Oud Rain all night. There you go. For some of the cards and also some of the areas you've still got on your, uh, that you've sprayed previously, I would say it's time to now jump back and revisit some of those scents. Definitely. Because you'll find things like Oud Rain that had that fruity tropicalness and went down to a warm Oud. It's the complete evolution from half an hour ago if you for those who sprayed cacique on skin go back to it now yeah you'll see that it's come off Can that I, very yeah, yeah so where it was very sort of pine very balsamic mm. at the opening yeah it's come like this, back it's yeah. really rich smokiness that comes off your skin beautiful, isn't yeah it? really beautiful vanilla there's a slight vanilla touch to it cacique is on um, i'm getting just a massive heat of pepper Right. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I did get pe pepper, pepper off yours too. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. It's smoky. Yeah. yeah it's... When I sell this, I think to tell customers, you have something big coming up, you have a meeting, you have a job interview, you have something that you require a bit of, you know, depth, Cacique. richness, yeah. a bit of a commanding mm. sense that you want to wear. Cacique would be that kind of scent. You know what's cool? In the comments, I had, I don't know, sometimes I think that people all like the same stuff. But absolutely not. It has been going off. You have Sam saying Vanilla de Tahiti. You have Jane saying the Oud Rain. You have Pam saying Framenti first. And then Habana second. Right. And then Oud Rain third. This is a whole... De everyone's got all different... Yanni says... What was the incense one? The incense scuro. one, Yanni. It's Scuro. And the sample is the silver card. It's the all silver card. So grab that grey card. That's Scuro if you want to spray it again. Um, we have Kat saying Fromenti, then Cacique, then Oud Rain. I love that it's a whole, it's com they're all completely different. Fromenti, the, but then you have Cacique and then you have Oud Rain the, uh, third. All different. I love it. I have a question. It's from Jane. If you guys have any last minute questions, I want you to jump in and just ask it here. Jane's asking, where would you class Oud Rain? Day or night? Winter or summer? Good question. Okay. Oud Rain. What are your thoughts? You go first. <laughs> okay. For me, for me, Oud Rain, which camera am I on? <laughs> this one, this one. Um, for me, Oud Rain is all year round. The, the summery fruits that you get at the beginning of the fragrance mm. does, in my opinion, 
and on my skin play all the way through. It does go a little bit more woody oud like at the very end, but summer, I mean, it's a summer fragrance. It would be great as a winter fragrance because sometimes those fruit notes can bring a brightness into the day. And again, when the settles, when it settles down, it does go into that oud component. So mm. it's actually quite, mm. quite nice on skin. I would say something similar. A bit of a twist. I would, I would consider this more of an autumn winter. Right. When you are missing wearing fruity stuff, there's some months where in winter there's like two, three months straight right. that it's just going to be cold weather. And you can't get that citrus or fruitiness. So I would wear something like this because the oud helps hold everything together right. and helps it perform in the cold weather. Then in the summer, I personally would not wear it during the day. I would think it's a really good evening scent. Right. Yeah. Is yes. the vanilla extract different? Yeah. Totally different. I'll let Marcel answer this. You've, you've worn both of them. Uh, yeah, I have. So the, the, the extract, extract version is a whole new iteration. So the vanilla is still being sourced from Tahiti. But now the, the earlier notes of magnolia, the, the ylang-ylang, it, it's, it's a whole new fragrance in that. And they did that on purpose. They want, see, what they wanted is rather than just release another fragrance uh, in an extract, more oils, but the same thing. So mm. you'll find that the EDP and extract on any of them. So another one is cacao. Cacao Aztec, if you get a chance to smell the extract version of that, it, that is a game changer. That is just in, incredible. Um, so, yeah, so you'll find that the vanilla is different to EDP. Um, mm. I personally prefer all the extracts. I mean, I love the EDPs, mm. but I've fallen in love with all the extracts. The Ylang Ylang, um, that's just, that's blowing my brain. It's insane. It's insane. insane. Question. Yes. Um, with the extract on, on the line. Extract. Ec oh, extract. Say it right. There is now, all right? Extract. <laughs> <laughs> Have they got <laughs> extra? I love, I love the way for, yeah. for, Eddie pulled me in line. Yes. For all of the entire line, or is it just? This? No, so just specifics, but I think they are working on it. What was the question? So, do they have extracts of the in, entire line? They don't. No. They, they don't. And the other thing, too, they, they, um, so Carlos was saying that they're releasing them at different times. So, they'll release a EDP, but they won't release the extract version at the same time. The wait and then release because it's a separate fragrance. Okay. They want to deem it as a separate fragrance. Better. First, Pam says, apparently my nose has expensive tastes with a laughing emoji. Yvonne says, me too, Pam. Mm. <laughs> me too, Pam. <laughs> yeah, me too. Nice. We're done, everyone. Um, whoa, it's nine o'clock. That was a marathon. <laughs> that, I, I, I didn't want to look at my watch because I, I was scared that it was only going to be like, I don't know, 8.30. Yeah. We enjoy it because yeah. we enjoy talking about perfume yeah. and sharing, but did you enjoy the session? Yeah, would love to hear from you guys. Uh, Jessica said, thank you so much. Kat said, had a great time. Thanks guys. Pam said, thanks to Sandra and Hannah too. You guys rock. Big shout out to the crew behind the cameras. They're to so awesome. Yeah. The, these, these women are, are, are incredible, yeah. And thank you. The production is really, they, they're yeah. doing stuff. We're, we're doing this thing, but yeah. they're, they're busy behind the scenes. They're doing so. the work behind it. Yeah. yeah. A big shout out to you girls. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Scott and Bella, thanks to everyone for making it happen. This was great fun. Murder said thank you. Yanni said thanks to everyone involved. Sam said yes, this was great. Pam said she would definitely do this again. Nice. Priscilla said yes, but we need a face to face. I like that even better. Okay. You know what? Let's, Absolutely. Yeah. Let's um, do something. Yeah, yeah. Let's do something. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah. Okay. You know, we are actually just for the internationals and those in Europe. We will be in Paris, so we are. We're going what to be, tell them a bit about that. Yeah. We're going to be doing a meetup at the Javois store on the what's the date? I think it's the third. It's probably the first or the second. Or no, no, it's not. Thursday it be, the twenty eighth. It'd be twenty eighth. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Thursday the twenty eighth. We're yeah. doing a meetup there. Um, Javoy are opening the store, they're giving us a chance to be at the back and so we can talk to you, we can show you the fragrances that we love. Yeah. So if you happen to be in Paris or it's not too far, yeah. then we'd love you to, uh, to come across. To We're going to have some goodies for you guys. Come down, come hang out for a bit. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be good fun. <laughs> I didn't know about the goodies. We're, 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 I'm organizing the goodies. <laughs> oh, he's organizing. Okay. I'm like, what goodies? <laughs> Sugar Daddy Kevin's coming. <laughs> um, Scott and Bella said, absolutely, would definitely join another one. Nice. We are doing a tour next year. So for those we've announced before that we, we are doing a tour now in September with a number of people from around the world, actually, who yeah. are meeting us in Paris. We're going to Grasse. But we're doing another tour, uh, a bespoke tour in May. All right. So if you jump on the NFC website, you can put your name on the hot list 
you will get a special offer. So anybody on that hot list will get the first um, sort of uh, uh, an offer to, yeah. to start off with. Yeah. Um, and then we'll open it up to everybody else. This but is a fragrance tour. It's a fragrance tour. It's we, all about perfume. We made this just for really people like us who are Correct. passionate about fragrances. All the activities will be cool behind the scenes experiences. That's correct. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Um, Jessica said, definitely would join again. This was so fun. Totally worth staying up until 4 a.m. Oh my gosh, Jessica. Thank you to everyone who stayed up. All <laughs> MVP you guys. MVP right oh, there. You guys who, who are on the other Jessica, side of the world. you're awesome. Well done. That Thank is you. awesome. Another comment. Someone said, um, next time you have to wear your disguises. And then someone else replied, Agreed. Agreed. Superman and Batman. Agreed. <laughs> Superman and Batman theme next time, gentlemen. All right, all right. I'll, I'll yes. Okay. Well. <laughs> Gents, last words. Thank, thank you, you for me. having us. It's an uh, absolute pleasure being here. And uh, just to see the setup. And again, thank you to Sandra and Hannah for, yeah. uh, for setting it all up. Thank you. Yep, I would like to echo all of that. And also say that Michael is a much tidier gentleman than I am. I think I've been here as well organized. And I've just made this horrible, chaotic mess. I, you know what we, I enjoyed? Listening to the two of you uh, talking about the fragrances. Mm. It was awesome just to hear you guys engaging. And uh, yeah, I, I couldn't hear what you were saying, but just the, the engagement. The between, excitement. Yeah, 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 I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. That was really cool. It was nice to have you in here, actually. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it brought a different energy to the room, which I'm appreciative of. It was a lot of fun. Cheers. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.